I'm just going to dive into what I'm expecting for Bitcoin. You know, immediately right off the bat, the prediction that I made yesterday, as well as on Sunday, about the fact that Bitcoin would come to at least 19,800 is very true at the moment. We are coming back down exactly to 19,800. Now, in that previous video and in yesterday's stream, I did mention that if price were to come back to this area, we should expect a bottom for Bitcoin here because this is the 0.705 Fib of this range right there. So when like given that, then shouldn't this be a time to go long at the moment? Now, the answer to that question is a little bit nuanced because firstly, even though we have gotten to this level, it is true that I am about to start looking for longs at this point onward, like from this point onwards. And I'm going to be looking for a long particularly like I sent this entry over to private discord group at the trade section. I'm going for a long at 19,600 and a stop at 19,500 with a TP at, well, not sure. I'll walk through that trade right now. So here's what I'm seeing. Now, if you just go onto the four hourly, you can see that there is a fair value gap right there. And usually fair value gaps tend to be filled. So right now I'm expecting price to fill in the fair value gap right at about 19,600. So that's the fair value gap. But then you zoom in to, let's say the five minute and we can narrow down the entry a little bit more because if you zoom into the five minute, you can see that the fair value gap indeed comes to all the way like this whole block here, this whole block here is a fair value gap as well. So that's an area that price could look to fill in. And because of that, if we go back to the one hourly to zoom out a little, you can see that price has came close to the fair value gap, but it hasn't exactly filled it fully yet. So because of this, I'm going to roll with a 19,600 long with a stop at 19,500. And I'm going to set my TP at three different intervals. And we're going to discuss that right now. What are these three intervals that I'm talking about? So the first one is at the daily open right here. Now, this is a key level that for all of you, you guys should already know about this. So if you don't know how to identify the key levels, I actually have a video coming out. Like my editor is working on it at the moment. It is going to be about how to look for trades and my thought process when I look for trades. And one of the ways that I do so is by identifying the key levels and then going from there. So if you guys want to see that and be notified when that video goes live, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. But enough with the humble plug. My first TP target is going to be at 20,059 because this is the first swing high after the daily open. It's just it's just the first, you know, realistic level that price could go target. So that's going to be TP number one at $20,050. And then the TP two is going to be at, based on what I written in the private discord group, the second TP is going to be at this blue line here at 20,360. This is the previous daily mid range, like the previous daily mid point, and it will act as strong resistance if the price does get there. So that's going to be TP number two. And my final TP is going to be at the previous daily high. I'm just playing the daily ranges here. I'm not going to be too greedy in looking for too big of a movement. No, I'm just going to play the ranges, the daily ranges, and I'm going to secure all my profit if price hits $20,870. So that's the situation of the trade that I'm now I'm looking to take at the moment. And will we hit the target within one day? No, very likely we will not hit the target in a single day, but that is where patience comes into play. You simply be patient and wait for the target to get hit. So that is my current take on Bitcoin. Let me know if you guys find that helpful or if you guys need a little bit more clarification. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at Ethereum because, you know, Ethereum is always interesting for everybody. Interestingly enough, this trade that I went through live would have actually been perfect. Oh, wait, no. No, it wouldn't been it wouldn't have been perfect. But hey, that's why we didn't take it and we only went through it. But Otherwise, taking a look at Ethereum, it has went through a much deeper retrace compared to Bitcoin. And this can be evident if we take a look at the ETH against BTC chart, you can see how Ethereum is losing much more valuation against Bitcoin. And this is why I say that these are times, like these are not good times to be buying altcoins at the moment because they're so weak against Bitcoin. And you should really measure everything against 
Bitcoin because that's the true measure of you know strength at the moment. Because right now, Bitcoin and cash is king. So you know it's a fear that Ethereum is going to outperform USD. But if it doesn't outperform Bitcoin, then what's the point of holding a high risk asset if it's not going to perform like you know, a lower risk asset? You know what I mean? So currently, that is the situation with Ethereum. And going back to the USDT chart, it is in the process of filling in a fair value gap as well. And you can see that on this green box. Now, yesterday we discussed that this green box is the fair value gap. And I would not be interested in Ethereum until at least $1,057 or $1,055, give or take. Until it hits that point, I'm not going to be looking at ETH yet. So that's the daily update for Ethereum. 